Good morning, Gracians. My name is Aaron and I am the ministry staff in charge of RH, our youth ministry in our next gen ministry. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. Trust you have been blessed and have enjoyed the morning devotions with us on the book of 1 Samuel thus far. Today we'll be reading from 1 Samuel 23. And today's application question is, will you still obey God even when it doesn't make sense? You know, 1 Samuel details a season of David's life where he, when he was being pursued by Saul for his life. In fact, David in this one chapter had three close shades where Paul had almost caught him. In fact, one of these close shades happened as David was betrayed by the same people that God had asked him to protect. protect. The same people who David had protected gave away his location to Saul who was after David's life. The key verse for today is 1 Samuel 23 verse 14 and it reads, David now stayed in the strongholds of the wilderness and in the hill country of Sid. Saul hunted him day after day but God did not let Saul find him. Imagine you are David today and after seeking God's instructions, you went out of your way to defend and protect the people of Kayla. In defending them, you are up against a great foe, the Philistines. And by the grace of God, you successfully defeated the Philistine. You might be expecting at this point some reward or praise even. However, what you got was a betrayer. The same people you put your life on the line for are now the people putting your life at stake. I don't know about you, but it angered me to see how ungrateful Kayla was, who returned evil for the good that David had done for them. David probably felt disappointed by the betrayal while running for his life. But God did not fail him. God had always been there to protect and preserve David's life. You know, many years ago when I was still studying in Perth, I walked by this homeless person asking for some change. And at that moment, I felt in my heart a desire to help him out in obedience to God. So I dug through my pockets and passed him a $2 gold coin. While I was not expecting him to thank me, I truly didn't expect his hostile reaction. He scoffed at me and called me a cheapskate. My first reaction was of anger and I felt the necessity to give him a piece of my mind. But in that instance, I sensed the Holy Spirit coming, coming me down and urging me not to respond to the hostility. On hindsight, had I responded in anger, who knows what that person might have done to me. And furthermore, though not much, I had blessed that man. You know, today, I wonder if you have ever obeyed God's instructions again or, or against all odds. And in return, instead of receiving a positive reciprocation, you end up being scolded or angered or end up in a situation where you are put in a position of perceived injustice. Today, while we might not always understand why God called us to do certain things, we do know who God is. And we know and trust that God's thoughts and ways are much higher than ours. So let's continue to trust and obey God in all situations. Please join me as we pray. Father, we just want to thank you for loving us and caring so deeply for us. God, we pray for forgiveness if ever we came into a scenario where we chose to not obey you or where we found or we questioned your authority. God, please teach us how to obey you in the toughest of scenarios. Help us to obey you even in scenarios where we might not even understand. Help us to trust in your goodness. Help us to know, O oh God, that you are for us. And everything you do is for our good. So Father, we just want to thank you for loving us. We just want to thank you for caring for us. And we commit ourselves solely into your hands. We thank you, Jesus, for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. Let us continue to commit ourselves fully to our one true God. May the Lord bless you. Bye-bye.